makes me crazy I dream about a baby Gazing on days and contagious show my baby Michael Bolton, you ain't got nothing if you ain't got love. Oh. Facts, though. Talk about it. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just in here on, on, on my periphery. All I see is, is, is these eyes laser focused in. He's thinking about the truth. <laughs> you ain't got nothing if you ain't got love. Like, you know, hey. That's you got why lasers on right I now. I feel like that's why I say what I say every time we mm. get off, every time we leave a video, if ain't nobody else told you. Because sometimes you just, you need that. You need to feel it. You need to hear it. Somebody needs to say it to you. Like, you need to know that you, you are. Know. Do yeah, you definitely need to know. Absolutely. And, and I like how he's talking about like all this fortune and fame that you can gain in the world, but but it's nothing like having that one uh, main thing in your life in yeah. the promised land. He was telling something about the promised land. It's but, so crazy because yeah. it almost makes you feel like if you don't have like love, you don't have like that feeling. It makes you feel very lonely, mm -hmm. very alone. And you can have and you can have all everything in the world, absolutely, but when you, you don't can. have that, if you don't have that four letter word, all those other things just mean nothing. Right, they're just ancillary. Mm. Feeling inside is telling yourself I'm guilty.
That's serious at the end right there. <laughs> that was serious at the end. I can't do that. That was super serious at the end. Yeah, you ain't got nothing if you ain't got love. And just sing it over and over again. I'm feeling that all day. Yeah, he said you can the conquer day. the world, y'all. You can do it. You can have everything. You can you can be living it, the dream life per se. Okay, but if you ain't got if you ain't got love, you ain't got nothing. Right. I love the way that this one just made me feel just at the end of the day. Do you need love, though, to, to, to be prosperous? To You need love to conquer the world. Mm. So you never truly conquer the world. What about for the people who don't like, you know, well, maybe, <laughs> I mean, love in general. Love in general. It doesn't have to be with somebody. But, yeah, we're just talking about love. Love period. in general. Exactly. Okay. You, you can't conquer the world if you don't have that. Okay. That makes sense. Yes. And, and not just that, but... This is like the first time that I've heard him with like the whole with the heavy rock element in the song too. Yeah, not he sounded really really good with with the, with the guitar and everything. No, I feel with, like with he the does rockish it often, feel. Though. Not the no. This was rock. This was rockish. But but, but it, I feel like we've heard like M Michael Bolton use like a little bit of that in his in his songs before. I gotta remind me. You see how like big his song is like his songs and when we listen to him, I mean he already has this really big voice. He has to have like big music behind him. I feel like this isn't the first time we've heard him use, like utilize like rock elements in his song. Listen, this for me it is for sure. Okay. Everything else we've heard more, been more more like ballads, slower, kind of like blue eyes, soul, you know, things like that. But this was like more upbeat, more energy. Yeah. More of the rock. It it it, it, it this definitely for me put it put it like in the rock. This put this put him like in the rock category for this song for sure. Mm, okay, okay. I know some some shoulder shruggers out there. Y'all was over there moving around. I know it. Yeah, and and like Michael <laughs> Bolton, like my first times here. You know, my first times hearing like Michael Bolton was like like my mom used to listen to like Michael Bolton, yeah. Kenny G. So like like I, I remember saying like like his album covers and stuff too. Melody said he started out as a heavy rocker. I didn't really? know that. Yeah, I didn't know either. Now that's because everything that I've heard was like I was there are always more slow yeah. about stuff that I've heard. Mm, you know? Interesting. I feel like he's such a powerful singer. I, I'd be okay. I need to go. But that explains to like a lot because he, because the way his, his the way his the way his voice sounds and hearing this song like hey yeah he he's like perfectly catered for rock then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I did not know that either. See, Michelle said the same thing. Lee, Lee, talking about I'm over here chair dancing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, like his melodies and, and just the, the power that he sings with the conviction and the soul. Yeah. Like definitely again. Like I'm not even gonna say he's an underrated because if you know, you know. So I'm not gonna say Michael Bolton is underrated by by any um, measure. But no. If you know, you know. If you know Michael Bolton, then you know he's one of the, the greatest singers. Absolutely. For sure. I would. I would. Have one of the greatest there. male singers. I, I think, yeah. He, he's definitely up there. He's up there. Yes. I mean, I don't know what category in the best that you would put him in, but he's one of the best. In, in we talk about like the 90s, too, yeah. for sure. Vocals. Yeah. Vocally. He's he's one of the best vocal vocalists out there, I think. Not the best, but one of the best. He's, he's a, up there. just a great singer, y'all. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Custing your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your intentions. I've waited too long. Baby 